Hey y'all, this is a cabinet door that I picked up at Canton Trades Days this past weekend and I'll use a little bit of painter's tape to tape off that center raised panel. Then I'll use my folk art chalk paint in the color cottage white and apply a good layer of this to the portion that I taped off. You want to make sure that you get a good smooth coat and then take your blow dryer and make sure that that layer is very, very nice and dry. Then I got this IOD paint inlay from Decoplage Central. I'll cut off the portion that I wanted. This one's called Lattice Rose. And then you want to apply another good layer of your paint. I'm using that cottage white once again. And you wanna make sure that that paint completely covers your surface. And you want, do want a good wet layer of paint. And then you'll take your little inlay. One side is brighter and the other side is more dull. You want to lay the bright side down onto that wet paint. And I just take my hand and kind of pat it down to kind of press out the bubbles. You do not want to rub it. So just pat straight up and down. Then I take a little baby wipe. You can use any type of a damp rag and press that down straight up and down. Once again, just pat it and you can see that it brightens up as that paper gets damp, this step is very important. Now, once that's completely damp, you want to take your blow dryer once again, and you need to make sure that not only the paint inlay is dry, but all of the paint underneath on your surface needs to be dry as well. So you dry and you dry and you dry and you dry to make sure. Then I took my baby wipes again. Once again, you could use a little spray bottle, but I like to use a damp rag or a baby wipe and dampen the whole thing. Make sure that it gets bright once again. And this is very important to pull it off. You wanna make sure that that whole little layer is nice and damp. Then you just lift from the end, just kind of pull it slowly and you can see that that paint inlay just stuck on there beautifully. So, so pretty. Once again, this one's called Lattice Rose and I can reuse this a couple more times. Then I just hit it with the blow dryer to make sure that that is nice and dry and then you can pull off your tape this is so satisfying you can see how pretty that looks on that raised panel of this old cabinet door love love it then i used some dark sealing wax and i went around the edges of the raised panel just kind of blended some of that into the edges left it darker in some spots I just wanted to give it an old vintage look and I also rubbed that dark wax. Now this one is brown and I went around the edges of my door as well because it didn't have very much color and I did want it to look like an old piece. So I just played around with that wax until I was happy with the way that it looked. Then I've got this old door plate. This one is nice and rusty, just how I liked it. I laid it down made marks for my holes and went ahead and pre-drilled the four holes. And then I just screwed in some screws to hold that in place. Now, because these are silver, I wanna make them match. So I used my Java chalk paint by Folk Art and just kind of dab some brown paint onto those silver screws. And then I gave it a nice blow dry and I absolutely am so in love with this piece. I hope you are too. Tell me what you think in the comments. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday, and I will see you later. Bye.